Hello people, welcome to Gargar News. Thank you for choosing us and let's get to the news. The new Islands of Fate is coming out. It's expected to have a new clean spin to it. It is expected to be great, but not much feedback has come out uh, about the update. It has been released at 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time along with the update. Save slots have been added to islands, allowing you to work on your island and save your work on another island along with it. Luckily, it costs absolutely nothing. Adopt Me has also hit an all-time low for player count, dipping to sometimes even 132,000 players, which may seem like a lot, but is very low for the game, which once had 1 million players. New games are starting to blow up, mainly raid right my avatar, reaching over 3,000 players, becoming well-known for its boosts, where many people can draw you, listen to your favorite songs, and of course, play your avatar. It became so popular that the popular Roblox gaming YouTuber with over 9.4 million subscribers, Flamingo, has made a video on the game. The popular but unlike Slenders, known for their rogue gangster looks, usually having stitch faces, sinister, stick bang, or even the Arthur Knight face, they have taken over the Hood, Sacrifice Sanctuary, and more. Sacrifice Sanctuary, known to be a new, nice type of slender, known to be less aggressive than the Hood or maybe City. If you see the most common type of slender, slowly back away and get as far away from the creature as possible. We've brought in the slender specialist to tell you what to do. Hello, and thank you for bringing me here. If you ever see a slender, never approach it. They are known for going into groups called Thinlins. If you see, ever see a Thinlin as Slender, you should run away as fast as possible. Unless you have black, black clothing on, and you have a face that fits their Slender exceptionalist. You heard it here, folks. Do not approach Slenders. Six months ago, sadly, Jack stepped a guy. An Irish gaming YouTuber with over 10 million subscribers had a tragedy in which his dad died of cancer, causing his community to support him in his time of need. But some people, most likely trolls, started to make memes and joking about his dad's death, starting mass controversy within the topic. Fortunately, both did end up supporting him during the time. As commentary channels continue to rise, Roblox exposure channels are starting to jump out of the opportunity to use most likely fake information, which luckily isn't harming the reputation of their careers, mainly because of how bad and fake the evidence of the claims are. That vegan teacher, known for being called racist, also wanting to forcefully convert people's religion, also, as well as being called homophobic and inventing a new word, veganphobic. Most don't like her for the way she sends her messages and tries to cancel many YouTubers, including Darman, who makes inspirational YouTube videos known for being one of the most liked YouTubers. Darman is known for making videos that have a moral, mostly about poverty and sometimes racism. Well guys, that's the end of the episode 1 for Gargar News. Thank you for choosing us once again, and we will see you all in the next video.